Welcome to another edition of Tea Talk Tuesday. I'm glad you're all back with me again this week. This week we're talking about rooibos tea and what is rooibos tea and why would I drink it? There are, as you know, a lot of different types of teas. And so I'd like to focus on these teas in the coming weeks to give you guys an idea of how different, um, how they're different and what teas have, what health benefits and things like that. So rooibos tea is a tea that is native to South Africa. And the rooibos leaves are actually really thin needle-like leaves. And those leaves are oxidized to bring out the most flavor. Now, rooibos leaves are actually an exceptional source of antioxidants, and they're considered one of the healthiest non-tea teas that you can drink. So why do I call rooibos tea a non-tea? Because it comes from our herbal side of the teas. It's not coming from your traditional tea leaf plant, so it falls into that herbal and tisanes category of teas that we call tea, right? Naturally, because it falls into that herbal tisane category, it's a caffeine-free tea, so it's a great option to enjoy after dinner or late in the afternoon if you want something that doesn't have the added caffeine in it. Now, Early research has shown that rooibos actually protects our liver and it can help reduce our cholesterol levels as well as our blood pressure levels. Now, in one study, participants who drank up to six cups of rooibos tea a day, every single day for six weeks, as opposed to just drinking water, showed increased levels of polyphenols and nutrients in their blood, and they showed a decrease in cholesterol, cholesterol oxidation. So they also had an increase in function of the body's natural antioxidant systems. They had a decreased LDL cholesterol, which you probably know LDL cholesterol as bad cholesterol, a decrease in their triglyceride levels, which is another number that we monitor on our blood work every year. And they had an increase in their HDL cholesterol, which is our good cholesterol. So, many, many health benefits to incorporating rooibos tea into your um, tea drinking routine. Now, you can incorporate three to six cups of rooibos tea a day if you want. You might think that sounds a little crazy, right? But most cups or mugs these days are much bigger than eight ounces, right? So you figure three to six cups, one cup is eight ounces, but if you have a larger cup, and I honestly... I'm not even sure how many ounces this in is. I'd have to figure it out. But it's definitely more than eight. So even if you had one big mug of rooibos tea a day, you're going to reap some health benefits from that, right? So what do I recommend? Incorporate your rooibos tea into your routine. Maybe it's not every day. Maybe it's three or four days a week because you know me, I'm a tea lover, and I believe in including a variety of tea into your routine because they all have different benefits for our overall well-being. So incorporate green tea, incorporate rooibos tea, incorporate black tea. Incorporate them all over the course of your week. You don't have to have them all every day, right? So just one large cup a day, maybe it's a dessert tea, um, is a great way to incorporate rooibos tea into your routine. Now, rooibos teas are generally dark red in color. So if I show you, you can see here, this is the Lush Lemon Rooibos Tea, and this little pack is actually part of our Make Your Own Tea collection. Um, but this is Lush Lemon, and I actually really enjoy this one. It's the rooibos, fennel seeds, lemongrass, and raspberry pieces. And then I have this other one, which is actually one of my favorite post-dinner teas, dessert teas, sort of, I like to consider it. Um, or late afternoon when I don't want the caffeine type of tea. But it's it was part of the fall and winter catalog. <laughs> so I had snagged some before we switched to spring and summer. But this is apple cinnamon donut. Um, so this one has apple bits, rooibos, pineapple, cinnamon sticks, rose hip, cocoa beans, star anise, anise, almond, cloves, pink peppercorns. Um, this, I just absolutely love this, and I'll show you this. Like I said, it's not in the current catalog, I don't believe, but just to kind of give you a peek, so it's got that red color, but it also has lots of fruit pieces in there. 
So in the current catalog, we have, I want to say like 10 or 12 rooibos teas, 11 rooibos teas in the catalog. Um, so when you go onto the website on the left, just choose loose leaf teas and then click rooibos and you'll see what we have um, to offer there. But we have three new seasonal rooibos teas. We have a pina colada, the lush lemon, which I mentioned, and key lime. And then we have Georgia peach, amaretto, lemon ginger ale, raspberry parfait, orange dreamsicle, mint chocolate chip. I bet that is a delicious one for a dessert tea. Cinnamon bun, also another good dessert one, and vanilla cupcake. So lots of great um, flavor options to choose from for rooibos tea. So that is what rooibos tea is. Um, that's why it doesn't fall into the normal tea category. And those are all the different flavors that you get to pick from and why you would want to incorporate it. So that's a Roy's tea in a nutshell. Thanks for joining me for Tea Talk Tuesday.